I just got home from work and I am exhausted. However, let's try and do this video anyway because I feel inspired to do so. Last night I finished a book which is called The Little Book of Hugo, written by Mike Viking. Now basically this is a book that tries to cover the phenomenon of Hugo, which is a Danish phenomenon and which is actually a pretty big part of my life. I am a Dane and I Hugo every single day. I don't think I would be able to live without Hugo. So to me, Hugo is such a big part of my life and it seems kind of incredible to me that, sorry, that some countries, some people do not know what Hugo is. So for this video, I was thinking that I would like to try and compare this book to how I live and how I Hugo. Because in this book, the author who is the CEO of the Happiness Research Institute in Copenhagen, he tries to tell you both what Hugo is, but also how you can achieve it and how Danes like to Hugo. So with this book, we get a list over 10 things that you might find in a typical Danish apartment, which are considered hugo -ly. I would like to put that to the test and see if it is true. My apartment is pretty much very much Danish, if you can say that. I am a pure Dane and let's see if what my Viking believes is Hugo is actually to be found in my apartment. I have a cat right here who is dying to get my attention because I just got home from work and he feels very cuddly. Right Zeus? And also I would like to point out that there is nothing as hugely as a cat purring which is basically what we have right here, right Zeus? So the very first thing that is on this list of hugely things in a Danish apartment is that you must have a hygge call, which is basically a place where you can be cozy and feel relaxed and where you would typically sit and maybe read a book. And yes, I do have a few hygge call in my apartment. First one I'm looking at right now, so let me show you. So I would call this place my main hygge call because it has my lighting, it has pillows, it has my blanket and it has a view on my books and I just pretty much love to sit here and relax and also sometimes sit and stare out of the window so this I would call a very typical Danish hygge In here in my office I have my second hygge which is basically my chair, my very comfy chair, another blanket and my lamp. Last but not least I have my third hygge which is my bed another place with pillows and blankets and just a cozy place to sit and relax. I guess you could say that the first thing on the list is pretty much true, at least when it comes to my apartment. The next thing on the list is a fireplace. There is nothing like a fireplace that screams hygge to Danes and most Danish homes has a have a fireplace. However, I live in an apartment and obviously I cannot have an open fireplace in here, but I do have what is the third item on this list of typical things you might find in a Danish home, which is very hugely, and that is candles. And in case I run out of candles to lit, I do have a bunch of candles stuck up right here. I don't know if I can find them right now. Let me see. Yeah. So let's see what's next on the list. I was laughing when I saw this picture in the book because look what I have right here. It's basically the same thing. It's just covered in cat's fur. But this is another thing that makes a lot of Danish homes hugely a nice blanket, a nice furry blanket, you could say. And they just make the room much cozier, I think. Mike also claims that in Danish homes, you will find a lot of furniture made out of wood. I don't know why that is, but I was trying to look in my apartment for furniture made out of wood. And I do have a few items, you could say. Amongst others, we have my, my work table in my office, which looks like this and which is made out of wood and i also have some shelves some drawers which 
are made out of wood but I wouldn't say that most of my furniture is made out of wood it just happens to be so that my table and my drawers are come to think of it my dining table in my kitchen is also made out of beautiful wood next on the list is books and I'm not even going to comment on that I mean yes I do have a lot of books which make my home even cozier and even more hygge I think when I read this book some things did surprise me amongst other things we have the fact that Mike claims that a lot of Danes like to wear very comfy clothes which is not really colorful we like to dress in black and white and maybe once in a while also gray so let's try and take a look at my wardrobe so these are the sweaters that I'm currently using and I would say that even though we have a little bit of gray we also have some colors so I don't know if that rings completely true when I came across this chapter in the book I was smiling to myself because this one deals with lighting and different lamps that you might find in a typical Danish home look at this lamp and try and compare it with this one they are pretty much the same so that part of the book is also true another thing that makes us Danes feel comfy is woolen socks which I must admit I agree with because right now I'm wearing a pair of those so this is what I wear whenever I'm at home I love my woolen socks they make me feel warm and relaxed and also I have a few more stocked up right here so that I never run out of them because that would be just another catastrophe One of the things that we Danes associate very much with hygge is cake and I'm one of those sinners who love cake. Amongst other things we like to eat what is called a K-man which you can translate into a cake man and it's kind of funny because these are mostly made for children whenever it's their birthday but in October, when I turned 29, I wished for a birthday cake myself, which was a K-Man and I got one, so I will insert the picture in this frame so that you can see what it looked like K-Man is not only for children, it's also for adults because they are just the tastiest thing ever It's like a gigantic Danish, which who wouldn't like that? I absolutely loved it and it was eaten within a couple of days, I have to admit So let's try and go into my kitchen Because another thing that this book claims is that we Danes, we love both cake but also hot beverages so that whenever we need to hygge we like to sit with a cup of either tea or coffee and yes that's another thing that I always have stocked up in my kitchen here I have my well trusted coffee machine I have some nice flavored coconut coffee I also have my regular coffee stocked up here and I just have a lot of fancy equipment for making my coffee and if I'm in the mood for tea, I also have a bunch of that stocked up. I have shown you this in another video, but here we have my collection of tea. And it smells so good in here whenever I open this cupboard. It smells amazing. And I think that's what Zeus is reacting to as well. He can smell the nice tea. And may I just point out that this book comes with the most amazing photos. I think I'm going to end my video right here. I hope that it gave you some kind of insight into both what Hygge is, but also the fact that if you really want to know what it is, then read this book because I was quite impressed with it. It speaks the truth. It was such a cozy read and it was just fascinating to read about my people my country and how we like to live and hygge. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat kind of messy video. I had fun doing it and I hope you had fun watching it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time have a very hygge day.